our next project uh, it's uh, would be to Our next project uh, will be to finish this wall, this one, and just one wall. Uh, why do we need this? It's in our utility room. As you know, Ilya completed the trench and the guys from the city will come and install the water meter. It will be installed somewhere here. And it means once it will be installed, we won't have any access to this wall anymore. Yeah, actually we will have access, but it will be much more difficult to to uh, yeah to finish it as i told you uh, a few videos back i'll put a link here so you can just take a look we decided to use a technique called kalein in dutch kalein actually it's just putting a calc plaster on top of this rough wall if you would like to apply this technique yourself you need to consider how suitable the surface for kalein is it's perfect when the surface is absorbing like bricks, good cement plaster, concrete, and you better not do it when it's bad plaster or painted surfaces. So my task for today would be to remove all the nails, to all the loose pieces from the wall, to remove their wires. They are all one disconnected and just to prepare this wall for Kalein. Okay, let's do it. As a next step, I want to fill in some joints and some holes from the nails, so just fill in. And just put... Doesn't need to be beautiful. And now, uh, when the wall is clean and uh, free of all loose parts, uh, it's time to make it wet. 
and uh, the best way is to use this garden horse and to be very generous while doing that. should be enough so yeah and now we need to leave it in peace for an hour and afterwards we can apply the calc plaster so let's wait show time it's time to apply this calc plaster uh, everything is ready and mixed and um, we're gonna apply just one layer as we were advised in the shop sometimes you put two layers but it's mainly uh, on the outside walls since our wall is inside I we think that one layer would be enough and yeah it's first time we are trying this so it's a bit of experiment how it will look let's hope it will work it will be fine and um, this calc plaster is being applied with this bread a quast it's called in Dutch I don't know how it's uh, quast in English and um, it's important that you keep the same movement uh, yeah mm -hmm. horizontally okay let's do it I'll put on the googles Save it first.
so I'm done. I really like how it looks. It's very rough, <laughs> but we, yeah, uh, we actually aimed for this result, so we really like it. And he also came over and told told me that he likes the end result. We're gonna see how it will look after it will dry because it will need something like I think four or five hours to dry completely. And it's raining outside, so it might take a bit longer. So we're gonna see. But I like it. Uh, we have uh, four and a half square meters and we took half of the bag and yeah we still have a bit nothing over there but a bit here Anikia hi Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. water Time is over, faster, faster. it up.
Now the next task is to put board here. It's from um, multiplex, beton multiplex. I don't know uh, how to translate it to English. It's in Dutch. Maybe it's the same. Some waterproof multiplex. So I need to put it here, and yeah, I have this screws. Oh, inspector is sleeping. Yeah. And the level is more or less good. It's like a difference one millimeter. Don't tell Marina about that. Why it's so high? It will be uh, put. It will be a little bit more gravel here or sand. I don't remember what I want to add. So it will be concrete yeah, insulation, concrete slab, and also. Uh, the, yeah, con to be insulation, concrete slab here, and yeah, force will be something like here, floor level, more or less. So it will be yeah, just next to the floor, it's something like that. So I hope I, I am not wrong with my calculation because. <laughs> It will be very, very sad if full level will be here. But okay. Yeah, I want to show who live here. See. Yeah, I just keep this window open for a few days and yeah, do see result. One week passed, so it's time for lessons learned and the results achieved part of the video. Uh, yeah, we have our water meter installed. It went very smooth actually. The guys came like at 7 o'clock in the morning, so we yeah, had to get up at 6 to greet them here. And they finished at 2. It's fresh, fresh new as you can see the numbers. Elia is giving water to the plant, so it's working right now. Uh, we got this installation connected and the old one in the barn disconnected. And you can see it's still sealed because we would need to have the final approval to invite a specialist and to let them inspect the system and get the final approval. But it's for later. Yeah, and, and lessons learned about Kaleen. Uh, I would like to give you and myself as well a summary of all the points that you need to consider while you are working with uh, this technique and while you are applying this product that might be helpful to you for future reference and to myself as well. 
So let's start from the very beginning. First year, before applying this product, you need to clean the wall from all the loose pieces, all the nails. Uh, I spent quite some time doing it and yeah, I have done it properly. The second, uh, you have, uh, it's optional, but I really advise you to fill in all the joints and all the holes because it's very hard, I'll show you. It's hard to apply this plaster uh, in, in the holes, um, yeah, like here, it doesn't look perfect at all. It's hard to make their, yeah, their coat smooth in these places. I must admit that I uh, did some shortcuts while filling, filling in the joints. I thought, okay, I'll just apply more of the product on these places, but I don't like the result. And I would advise you to, to fill in all these joints up front and holes. Then uh, the third step, you should uh, make the whole wall very wet and we depending on how absorb absorbing your surfaces we uh, did it with a garden hose a few times so to make sure that it's really properly wet you shouldn't do it when it's too hot outside and also under direct sun uh, we are lucky here we are in the building but it's a very important point to consider afterwards i applied the product and here my advice would be, don't be um, um, spasm, be generous, in other words, be generous. This was my first time applying the product and I didn't know whether I will have enough for the whole wall and I was like, in some places, okay, I'll be, uh, I'll try to be more <laughs> spasm, I, I forgot the word. So. Uh, yeah, but it's better to mix more product later, but really be generous while applying it. The next point is related more to the wall itself and not to the product and how you work with the product. Uh, before applying it, you need to inspect your wall and uh, why. Uh, I'm not sure it's visible on the camera. Let me move the camera so you can see. Maybe from here you can see it. Yeah, I guess you can see. This line is more white and this line is more gray. Again, white, again, more gray. See the difference in the colors? Um, we think that it's related to the bricks. The builder um, back then, they used different bricks and we think it might be related to this difference in the colors. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but it's like 80%. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a, a big deal for us, this difference in colors, but this is one of the points why we would, um, we told you that we will uh, apply only one coat, but we changed our mind. We will apply the second coat later on after, yeah, much later but we want to apply the second color to make the colors a bit more even and also to fill in all the, <laughs> yeah, all the places where it's not that smooth as I would want it to be, this product to be. So we will apply later on a second coat of this. Yeah. But in overall, we really like the result and I'm really, we are really satisfied. Okay, I want to show you closer all the imperfections that I was mentioning here. Here a hole. <laughs> this place I don't like. And this one here yeah, that you cannot get smooth because of such a big joint. Here as well, not nice. So quite some work left for me for later, but you learn from your mistakes, right? Okay, let's go on. By the way, did you already subscribe to our channel?